GHK, the airsoft company now most famous for their amazing gas blowbacks, have released the RPK, as well as an erotic image of a stripped down bullpup we've all been drooling over. But today it's all about the Rushnoi Pelimiot Kalashnikova GBBR. Apologies for the name butchering. Much like its AK predecessors, you'll get the wooden stock, storage space for a cleaning kit, and a sling point on the stock itself. A wooden foregrip for stability with a sling point in front, a bipod for more stability when prone or resting on any surface, and a metal body which is predominantly steel, like GHK's most recent AK series. The fire selector isn't any different, why would it be? The rear sight can be adjusted for elevation and the rotary hop-up adjustment dial is conveniently placed in the breech. By far the biggest disappointment is that the GHK RPK does not come with a 75 round drum magazine, but a measly 40 round magazine instead. And the sound of that bolt is simply pathetic. But if you are thinking that GHK RPK is a complete disappointment, well then, you would be wrong. Was that fun? Well, that was a bit rude. So what GHK have done is manufacture the best RPK GBBR in the world, meaning that it is also the worst RPK GBBR in the world, come to think of it. Hmm. Huh. Since the RPK is the LMG version to the AK, it is a little heavier at 4.4 kilos, stretching at just over a meter long. Though it doesn't feel that heavy. This could possibly mean I could run a few kilometers with it in hand. Not that I would, ever. But at least you know it isn't a hassle in long game. It isn't perfect though. The grip doesn't feel or look great, and I'll most likely switch it out. The cleaning rod, is very loosely secured, or might I say, not at all. When I handle the gun, it decides to pop out, meaning in your first game, you'll most likely lose it. Therefore, you should probably just leave it at home. It doesn't even fit into the inner barrel or even the length of the inner barrel, plainly there for aesthetic reasons. The muzzle device is not the common one and you won't find it on most RPKs, though it is present on rarer versions. The rear sight is missing windage and should go up to a thousand meters, as 9 and 10 are missing. However, these all seem like menial problems, and like the mole on the lip of a certain supermodel back in the 80s, all these flaws will go unnoticed, considering the beauty in the rest of the package. For example, the wooden furniture has a very smooth and clean finish, and the grain on the wood is beautiful. The metal on the body, especially the steel components, is gritty and well lubed, giving it that sense of rawness to the gun. The internals are as expected from GHK, meaning that they are superb and should deliver very stable and consistent shots. It feels great. Very gratifying and rather loud too like it's barking at me. <laughs> Whilst releasing the bolt itself isn't entirely gratifying, shooting it in full auto symphony should bring a whole different acoustic experience. <laughs> you can't help but notice the very little cooldown and the methodic cycling of the heavy bolt gives it an overwhelming sense of awe to it. And I love the fact that every time you pull the trigger, it feels like the RPK is rowing in your hands. <laughs> it's really hard to explain how fun it is. And it seems like GHK have nailed the sweet spot for the gas blowback design in this particular model, and maybe even more so than their previous models. For the chrono test, we're using 0.2 gram 6mm BBs with RWA S of Surgeon Green Gas. It does clock in at around and a consistent 340 FPS. We are currently testing at around 19 degrees Celsius, and perhaps you can expect higher FPS in warmer weather. 
The trigger is responsive and is a little stiffer than previous models, though it will loosen over time. The RPK has a reinforced receiver, so I'm happy to see it on this one. And the sling points are in the correct position. This does not come with a side scope mount, which means if you want one, you'll have to figure out how to drill one on yourself. So, how will it perform in terms of accuracy? For the accuracy test, we are 30 meters away using 0.3 gram BBs instead. LMGs are meant for suppressing fire, so grouping isn't the most important thing in the world, but since this GBBR is most likely going up against AEGs which you spray and pray, accuracy is preferred. The grouping in this case is about 12 inches in diameter, so at least you're able to hit a human-sized torso from 30 meters away. Now let's try it in full auto. You will most definitely be smiling as you pull the trigger, but I will not want to be on the opposite end of this, as the result speaks for itself. Just to let you know, the Airsoft Innovation Cyclone Grenades are out. They're very durable and much more affordable than the older brother, the Tornado Grenade. If you'd like to know more about them, click on the link right here. Also, the Betaplan ICU camera is very compact and fits on the Picatinny rail of anything you want to apply it to. It's also very affordable and best for beginner airsofters. For more on that, click on the link right here. So, let us conclude the GHK RPK GBBR. I believe it performs very smoothly and the shooting experience, to put it simply, is a lot of fun. Sure, there may be a few imperfections and inaccuracies, but even so, I believe that GHK did a very good job of the RPK. In terms of airsoft recoil, it kicks just as hard as the previous GHK AKs, which is a given, and performs rather similarly as well. There is always room for improvement, which is why I know for a fact that there will be plenty of external and internal upgrades for it in the near future. So, is it the best or the worst RPK GBBR in the world? With many more positives than there are negatives, I think the results are pretty clear. But do let me know what you think in the comments section below. So with this cool product and many more, go to our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com and see you guys on the next episode of Red Wolf TV. Pornstash out.